Good morning, beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> See? I told you I'd be waiting for you. Oh, come on. We don't want to be late. Yeah, practice went fine yesterday. Though so there was one moment where Braden tried to show off once he got the ball and ended up getting a face full of grass. <laughs> yeah, I'm being serious. His face was covered in mud and grass. It was so hilarious. You want to come and watch next time? Well, I mean, th that would be great and all, but but you have your club meeting on the same day, right? I would hate for you to miss that just because of me. No, no, it's it's fine, really. Maybe we can figure out something else to do after school instead, you know, together. Sounds more fun, right? See, I knew you'd agree. Ah, there's the school. Look, this is where we part ways. Yeah, sorry about this, but the guys kind of wanted to meet up before school to talk about the assembly tomorrow. Yeah, the whole team is going to be part of the assembly, and apparently, since I'm the team captain... I have to step up and say something inspirational or motivational to any new potential player. Ugh, I'm so not looking forward to it, but what can you do, right? <laughs> yeah, i got to get going, so I'll see you later then. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. W we can totally meet for lunch or something. Anyway, got to go. Bye. Okay, guys, let's make this quick, okay? Last thing any of us want is to have no place to sit in the cafeteria. So, what's up? You said you had a question for me or something. What? Am I dating someone? Come on. Don't be stupid. Who would I even be dating if that was true? Huh? A, a girl from this morning... Well, yeah, okay. I may have talked to a random girl this morning, but it's not like we're friends or anything. And I mean, come on, if you actually saw that girl, then it should be obvious why a girl like that would be the last person I'd ever date. That raggedy hair, those dorky clothes, and all those stupid kiddie stickers and buttons on her bag. I mean, come on. You're going to imagine a girlfriend for me. At least pick someone more presentable. I was only talking to her to ask about our stupid maths homework, all right? Unattractive or not, she at least has a decent amount of brains under that messy hair of hers. <sighs> Forget about it, man. It's fine. Still. Now that's out of the way, I think you guys can go on ahead without me. I think I left my textbook back in the classroom. Yeah, I'm sure. Just make sure to save me a seat, okay? Well, at least the teachers don't lock the classrooms during lunch. So I'll just grab my book and get back to... Baby. Hey. Um. How long have you been standing there? The whole time? Baby, listen. I, I was only... Ah! Babe. N no, baby, wait. Baby, wait. Hold on. Please let me explain. Oh, no. I lost her. Come on, come on. Where is she? D damn it. It's, it's no use. She's gone. <laughs> ah, fuck. Fuck. Why did I have to be so stupid about this? <sighs> Lunch is almost over already. 
I don't have any more time to look for her. Please, please let me be able to catch her after school. Thank God you're still here. I was worried. I'd somehow missed you. No, 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 no. Please don't run away again. F five minutes. Please, just, just give me five minutes. Thank you. Okay. So, um, back there, I was just... I... I didn't mean... Shit, I can't even think straight right now. Um, okay, um, I'm just going to get straight to the point. Back there, I, I swear to you, I didn't mean any of that. Not a single word. I'm so, so sorry that I ended up hurting you. I was only saying that to throw off the guys, you know? Why? Well, because I... What? No, no. I, I swear, I'm not ashamed of you or anything. I was, I was just. <sighs> you think I care more about about my image than about us? No, I, I swear that's not it at all. And then, then why am I keeping this a secret? I was only, baby. What am I doing? I just keep hurting her. What am I going to do? How can I make it up to her and prove how I feel? Wait, I think I got it. Good, they actually showed up. Okay, no backing out now. You've got to make this count. Hey, everybody. Glad you could all make it. As most of you know, I am the captain of this amazing team behind me. And today, I'm supposed to be starting off this assembly by talking about the new sports team forming here at our school. Whilst also giving tips to anyone wanting to join. But instead, there's something else I want to talk about today. Something very important to me. You see, the other day I made a big mistake. And I mean huge. Because I ended up hurting someone. Someone who means more than anything to me. You see, I'm, I'm dating this girl. She's the cutest, quirkiest, and most wonderful person anyone could hope to meet. We haven't been going out long, but... I know she's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And yet, I still hurt her. As lucky as I am to have her, I still manage to screw things up all by myself. Being the idiot that I am, I thought for some dumb reason that it would be best to keep our relationship a secret. Maybe I thought I was protecting her from all the attention she'd get. Maybe I thought I was just doing some stupid possessive boyfriend thing. But in the end, I realized it was just me being the biggest and most selfish idiot on the planet. Without realizing it, I was more concerned about what others would think of me and my image if they found out I was dating her. But now I don't care. I don't care if the whole school or even the whole world knows. Because the thought of losing them is scarier than anything I can imagine someone else saying. Baby, I love you. I love you more than anything else in the world. And if you're still willing to give me a chance, I promise you, I'll spend every day proving that. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I promise I'll never be that stupid again. Okay, I'll do my best not to be. I love you so much, baby. From now, I won't ever leave your side.
I hope you're ready for that. Mm. Mm.